Hi, I am really excited to invite you to and to tell you a little bit about uh, the SUNY Learning Network uh, Online Learning Summit, the SLN Soul Summit, um, which is happening this week. It's coming up um, on February 27th, 28th, and March 1st. And uh, we're going to have a wonderful event, and I hope that you can either come in person or that you can tune in to the live webcasts that we will be streaming live and for free every day of the summit. Um, no need to register. Um, the links uh, to each of the sessions will be posted, and uh, it's Eastern Standard Time. And I'll put the link uh, in a comment to this video so that you can access it straight from there. Um, let me tell you a little bit about the day. Um, on the first day, on uh, February 27th, uh, we're going to have a couple of special guests to start us off. The SUNY Chancellor, Nancy Zimfer, will be there. And our Provost, uh, Provost David Lavallee, will also be there. Um, we're also going to have a couple of internal presentations, one to talk about one of the first SUNY MOOCs, uh, OER 101, and um, they'll be here to talk a little bit about their project, which just started in January. And we're also going to have um, an update uh, from a committee from the FACT group that will be updating us on uh, their um, learning analytics task group. And we're going to talk a little bit about our new SUNY uh, student commons. And we're also going to have a Google for Educators workshop. Uh, and that's the first day. The second day, uh, on um, February 28th, we're going to start off the day with Eric Stoller, a blogger from uh, inside higher ed, and he is going to talk about embedding student affairs into online learning. Um, very excited to have him and to meet him. Um, we're also going to have Jim Groom, um, who, uh, whose presentation will be open by design. And Jim Groom's the Director of Teaching and Learning Technologies at the University of Mary Washington in Fredericksburg, Virginia. And I'm thrilled to finally get to meet him and to have him uh, talk with us. Um, we're also uh, going to have Alec Kuros, who's a Professor of Educational Technology and Media, um, and on the Faculty of Education at the University of Virginia, and he's going to talk about online learning in the networked age. And I'm also extraordinarily thrilled to finally get to meet him. Um, and Karen Vignari is going to be with us, and she's the director of MSU Global, um, and uh, she's at Michigan State University. And um, her presentation will be on leveraging open education for international partnerships. I'm thrilled to have her uh, with us as well. Um, on day three, um, we're having like a mini conference within a conference, and the presentations will be dedicated to games and learning. And our first presenter will be Anne Derryberry, um, who is um, um, going to be talking to us about badges, uh, the new black or uh, another black hole. And then we also have Sean. Uh, Duncan, who is an associate professor, assistant professor um, in the Department of Counseling and Educational Psychology at Indiana University. Um, and his presentation is going to be on affinity spaces, connecting online learning to everyday life. And we're also going to have panelists from one of the IITG um, uh, grants, fund, grant funded project on uh, games in learning. Um, talk about their uh, grant-funded project. Our keynote speaker um, for the summit is going to be Rebecca Peterson, who um, is um, uh, going to be talking about rethinking education, MOOCs, and the challenging educational landscape. And Rebecca is um, the director of research at edX. Uh, and so we're thrilled, um, I'm thrilled, uh, to have this wonderful um, um, three-day conference full of um, amazing, thought-provoking presentations and interesting um, people to interact with and to, uh, to talk with. And I'm hoping that you um, will join us either in person or for the live webcast.
um, and uh, and that you will contribute to uh, the conversation and follow along either on the webcast or in Twitter. Uh, and I'll post the links and the hashtag uh, so that you can do that. See you there. Bye.